Okay, um, today is uh, the day where I want to change my OCG system windows. Uh, but before then, I want to show you guys something. I have another four seven. I want to reset the timing. Of course, we put a PP2000 and we showed the timing was off. Um, from the diagnosis, uh, showed the back one camshaft position sensor was not known. Uh, so, of course, we've removed the timing chamber cover. Um, you can see we've already pegged the camshafts. And uh, this one, we couldn't peg it. So maybe this is the one that is off. This is the hole. This one is supposed to go in, but it's not going in. No. The bolt we use a tartan, is it? Tartan, yes. tartan bolt. Yeah. So we usually, you normally use tartan bolts to peg these pieces. Um, camshaft, sprocket. Okay. This one didn't work. So all it means is we eventually have to remove these bolts. We we'll have to remove this timing belt and we do it to get it right. Because I don't know, I think the owner of the car changed the belt some time ago, somewhere else. So they didn't do it right and he bought it to me to do it so that the one is stores. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he complained uh, about how start issue. However, I just want to get it right. So, um,. So let's go to the process I was talking about. Well, this is mine. I uh, have this, have had this car for how long? Uh, I think seven years now. Hold on, guys. Yeah, uh, this car has been with me for seven years, and um, it's twenty, it's two thousand production. So, uh, how many years? Probably, uh, is it 19 years old? Uh, uh, so, yeah, so I changed this belt, the turning belt in 2013. I think around March or uh, April 2013. So, uh, it has served me for like seven years now. You see, I have another one year or so to go, but. I decided to change it, so there are no point after I'm doing the work myself. It's not like I'm paying somebody to do it. So, I'm going to change the belt. I actually bought the belt already. Uh, let's see. Uh, in fact, it's a little bit dusty. Uh, I do the belt. Uh, they call blah blah blah. So yeah, with this with this one, looking at another eight years or there about. So um, my advice to you guys is, you don't have to wait for the timing belt to fail before you change it. You know. For example, I changed my immediately I got the car and used the car for seven years, no issue. I never had a cause to go to that chamber. I also, I also changed the auxiliary belt as well when I changed the timing belt, which I also do the same this time around while changing this one. So, my advice is change your timing belt when you still. If possible, the determine the uh, detentioner, you know, especially if they are weak. The place at no point changing your belt when your timing roller is weak or the tensioner is weak because it will reduce the belt lifespan. So um probably we we'll do another video when the when I do the change you know, to show you the state of the the current belt in the engine
No, not in because it's actually an attachment, so it's on the engine. So I'll keep you guys posted.